Hello everybody, this is Katya Eckhart and welcome to my YouTube channel this evening. I wanted to tell a bedtime story and the story that I'm going to tell is a new version of actually a very old story, the story of Sleepy Beauty. So I would like to dedicate this version of the story to Nina Crossdresser, one of the people whose videos on YouTube I have drawn a lot of inspiration from, and so this is especially dedicated to her. I hope that she and all of you will enjoy it. So, once upon a time, there was a kingdom with a castle in the middle of a deep, dark forest. And in this castle, there lived a king and a queen. And the king and the queen had an only child, a boy, but the boy had a secret. The boy's secret was that he enjoyed dressing as a girl and he felt that part of him, a deep, very deep part of him, was a girl. So he would often sneak into the very highest room of the castle sometimes and take with him a dress that he maybe found in his mother's closet or maybe something that he found in his sister's wardrobe. And so he would take these clothes into the highest room of the castle and would try them on. And this went on for a while. It was something that he felt very happy about when he did it. And so this went on for a while until one day uh, one of the people, one of the courtesans, one of the people in the court found out, saw that he was in the room and saw what he was doing. And so the courtesan told the king and the queen about it, and they were very upset because they didn't really understand why their son was dressing as a girl. He tried to explain it to them, but they didn't really understand. So there was a rift between the parents and the child, the, the boy. He went to his room in another part of the castle, and he would have his meals brought to him, or they would send the meals to him, and he was there all alone for a long time, not really seeing his parents, not really having anything else to do with anybody else in the castle. And two things occurred to the boy over time. One was that he didn't really realize, I had not really realized it before, but the people in the castle, including his parents, had really not been awake for so many, many years in that they were not really aware of his situation. And sure enough, over time, he realized that it was very quiet in the castle because all the people had actually fallen asleep. In a way, when they fell asleep, that was simply a physical manifestation of the lack of attention that they had had all along. So now the boy was all alone in the castle with all the people, the king and the queen, around him fast asleep. The second thing that occurred to the boy was that he really didn't feel like a boy anymore. He wanted to be more like a girl, and he actually felt more like a girl. So he simply started to think of himself that way. And now with all the people asleep in the castle, he was able to go to various rooms and closets and find all the girls' clothes that he wanted and to dress in those clothes to his heart's content. So many, many years passed by with the boy living this way, or the girl now living this way, and all the people in the castle around him asleep or around her asleep. Eventually, the girl grew very, very tired and she felt a deep sleep coming over her herself. So what she did was she got ready for bed and decided that she would rest and fall asleep. So she got ready for bed, much like the way I'm getting ready for bed now. And she took off her dress and had some sleeping wear underneath that and decided that now she would go to sleep and maybe have a nice long rest. 
So that's what she did. And she slept for a long, long time. Then the sun came up one morning and it shone on the lids of her eyes, on her eyelids, and she became awake. And she heard sounds in the castle as if people were moving or stirring when people wake up in the morning and first begin to move in the house. So she didn't know what to do. But what she decided to do was just to be herself. She decided to be herself. So she went to the closet in her room and she picked out the most beautiful dress that she had. It was a long brocaded dress and she did her makeup and she put on jewelry and she was about to go down the steps. She put her hand on the door and hesitated for just a moment, but then she said, no, I will do this. I will go out and see what's happening and who is out in the rest of the castle. So that's what she did. So she opened the door and she went down the stairs and all the people had woken up. The king and the queen were there, the courtesans, the counts, the countesses, the earls, the dukes and their wives, all the people in the kingdom were there. And so the girl with her beautiful brocade dress on walked down the stairs and held her head very, very high because she was proud of who she was and of whom she finally decided to be. And all the people watched her as she came down the stairs and saw how beautiful she was and how very, very special she was. And for the first time ever in the kingdom, her father, the king, and her mother, the queen, realized how beautiful their daughter was, and they were filled with joy. So from that day on, everybody accepted the princess as the girl that she was. Her king, her father, and her mother, the king and the queen, were very happy, and everybody then lived happily ever after in the castle, in the kingdom, in the middle of the very dark, beautiful forest. So that was the story that I wanted to tell this evening, and I hope you enjoyed it. And again, please continue to watch my videos. I really appreciate that. I wish everybody a good night. This is Katja Eckhart saying good night. Ooh, my glasses got stuck in my hair a little bit there. Sorry. Good night.